building and implementing the cloud infrastructure belonging to an organization is not an easy task. And that's why big companies and organizations needs Azure administrators who can skillfully handle the highly scalable Azure solutions. Hello and welcome back to the Tech Blackboard. And this is our AZ104 exam preparation series. So let's begin the part 20 with question number 126. The question is saying that your company has an Azure Active Directory subscription. Now you need to deploy five virtual machines to your company's virtual network subnet. Now the virtual machines will have both a public and a private IP address and you have to make sure that the inbound and outbound security rules for all these virtual machines must be identical. Which of the following is the least amount of network interfaces needed for this configuration? And your options are option A 5, option B 10, option B 20 and option D 40. And the correct answer is option A, 5. So basically my friends, the least amount of network interfaces needed for this configuration is one network interface per virtual machine. And friends, each virtual machine in Azure requires at least one network interface. So let me explain this even further. In this scenario, you need to deploy five virtual machines, each with both a public and a private IP address. And to achieve this, you would need to create five network interfaces, one for each virtual machines. And then my friends, each virtual network interface can be associated with both a public IP address and a private IP address. And yes, by configuring the appropriate security rules, you can ensure that the inbound and the outbound traffic for all the five virtual machines is identical. And that's exactly what is the call for this question. And therefore, my friends, the least amount of network interfaces needed for this configuration is one network interface per virtual machine, resulting in a total of five network interface. And that's why five is the correct answer. Moving on with the question number 127, question says that your company has an Azure Active Directory subscription and you need to deploy five virtual machines to your company's virtual network subnet. So the basic setup of this question is almost identical to the previous question, but the question exactly is different. Let's read it further. It says the virtual machines will each have both a public and a private IP address. Inbound and outbound security rules for all these virtual machines must be identical as we saw in the previous question. Which of the following is the least amount of security groups needed for this configuration? I hope you grab the difference between both the question in the previous one. We were talking about the network interface and in this question, we are talking about security groups. Now let's check out what are the options given. Option A, 4, option B, 3, option C, 2 and option D, 1. And friends, the correct answer is option D1. So basically, we are saying that at least one security group is needed. So friends, I found a really nice documentation on how network security groups filter network traffic. So here you can read that you can use the Azure network security groups to filter network traffic to and from Azure resources in an Azure virtual network. You can also understand a network security groups contain security rules or deny inbound network traffic or outbound network traffic from several types of Azure resources. Here in this documentation, you can also understand what is the network traffic, virtual machine one, two, three, and four. Then you can also understand outbound network traffic. And friends, when you read this documentation carefully, you will understand this documentation is very close to the setup for both the question 126 and 127. So please read out the documentation links are right there in the description box. Now let's move ahead. Question number 128. Now let me first read the instructions. I know we have read the instructions many times before, but then my friends, many new viewers keep coming to the Tech Blackboard family each day. So that's why for them, let's read the instruction. The instruction tells us that this question is a part of the series of question that presents the same scenario. And each question in this series contains a unique solution that might meet the stated goals. And some of the question sets might have more than one correct solution while the others have not a correct solution. And most importantly, after you answer a question in this section, you will not be able to return to it. As a result, these questions will not appear in the review screen. So friends, in all this instruction, the most important section is this one, that in these kind of question, normally you will get three questions in each set. And in each question, a different solution would be given. So you have to basically pick the right solution. But please note, it's very important that in these kind of question, you will not be 
be able to mark this question as a review and they will not appear in the review screen. So that's why you want to do this question with all your attention. So now let's read the question. Question says that you have an Azure virtual machine named VM1 that runs on Windows Server 2016. Now you need to create an alert in Azure when more than two error events are logged to the system event log on virtual machine one within an hour. The solution given is that you create an event subscription on virtual machine one. You create an alert in Azure monitor and specify virtual machine as the source. Now does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And this solution given here is not the correct solution. That's why no is the correct answer. Now let's check out the other questions. Same scenario, but with different solutions. So here it comes question number 129. Exactly the same question. Let's read the solution. Solution says that you create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data settings. Now you add Microsoft Monitoring Agent Virtual Machine Extension to the Virtual Machine 1 and you create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify Log Analytics Workspace as the source. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And once again, my friends, this is an incorrect solution. That's why no is the correct answer. Now let's find out the correct solution in the next question. But before that, I just want to say, my friends, that it takes a lot of time and effort to compile all these questions, going through hundreds of questions, grouping them together, finding out the answers, researching, documentation. So please, please take a brief moment to like the video spread across all these videos to all your friends and families and friends liking and sharing does not cost you anything but it really help us grow and keep bringing the free content and with the belief that you have liked the video let's move to the next question Question number 130, exactly same question. Now let's read the solution. Solution is saying that you create an Azure Log Analytics workspace and configure the data setting. Now you install the Microsoft Monitoring Agent on the Virtual Machine 1 and you create an alert in Azure Monitor and specify Log Analytics workspace as the source. Does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? Now friends, I'm already sure that you must be thinking that this statement or this solution exactly is looking like the previous one. But no, that's not the case. In the previous question, the solution was saying that you add the Microsoft monitoring agent to the virtual machine one. But here we are saying that you install the Microsoft monitoring agent to the virtual machine one. So now tell me, does this solution meet the goal? Yes or no? And yes, this solution is correct. That's why yes is the correct answer. And friends, actually I have one more variation of this question, but that, that I will take in the next part 21. Now coming back to the question, I was saying that alerts in the Azure monitor can identify important information in your log analytics repository. And they are created by alert rules that automatically runs log searches at regular intervals. And if the results in the log search match the particular criteria, in that case, an alert record is created and that can be configured to perform an automated response. And also my friends, log analytics agent collects monitoring data from the guest operating system and the workloads of virtual machine in Azure. And not only that, you can also gather the information from other cloud providers and on-premises. And you can understand all about create or edit an alert rule in this documentation. Here you can read how to create or edit an alert rule in the Azure portal. You can also understand how to do it with CLI or PowerShell. Everything is given in this documentation. Please go ahead and read this documentation. But one thing I can tell you, my friends, Azure Monitor, Azure Log Analytics, Microsoft Monitoring, Microsoft Intra Security are some of the sections from where you will surely get some questions. So please cover these topics very carefully, read all the documentation that I share with you and also go to the Microsoft Learn. And friends, just to help you out, I have left some more documentation in the description box. So please read them through and that's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, stay fit, keep learning and thanks for watching.